Here we have a rectangular package. So here we have a picture for it. And if you want to send this via the postal servers, then you must have a maximum combined length and girth. And the girth is that if you go around the cross section, so it's this part right here. And here we will say the cross section is a squared. And altogether, the maximum combined length and girth has to be 90 inches. And we are going to find the dimensions of the package that will give us the maximum volume right here. Okay, so here we go. This is pretty much what we know. We have a picture already. And uh, let's write an equation for this. Well, we want the cross section to be um, a square, so we have to have 4x, right? Because again, we must have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sides. And we will also have to combine this with the length, which is y. So we have 4x plus y, and altogether that has to be equal to 90. And what do we want to know? We want the maximum volume of this box. Well, the volume of this box is just going to be the area of the cross section, which is x times x. That's x squared. And we multiply by the y. All right, now let's come here for the constraint equation. So for y, minus the 4x on both sides. So y equals 90 minus 4x. And then we put this into this y. Okay, so we are looking at volume as a function of x. And that will be x squared times the y, which is 90 minus 4x. And now let's do the usual business, which is the algebra. Before we do calculus, we have 90x squared minus 4x to the third power. And now let's go ahead and take the derivative, which will get 180x minus 12x squared. Then we set this to be equal to 0. And right here, it really depends on how you want to solve it. Perhaps I will actually just do factoring. 180, we will factor out the 12 and also the x. And we will get 15 and then minus x and that will be equal to zero. And right here, of course, this means 12x is equal to zero or 15 minus x is equal to zero and x is equal to zero, x is equal to 15. I forgot if I said 50 or 15 earlier, but it's 1, 5, 15, all right? So these are the two critical numbers. But of course, we don't consider zero because otherwise we don't get any volume. So that's clearly not correct. But we can check and verify that when x is equal to 15, we do get a maximum. And here you can also use the first derivative test like what we did earlier. Especially we have the factor the form of the derivative. And this expression is not so bad. So perhaps let's also do that right here. So first we know that the derivative at 15 is equal to 0. So that means v prime when x is 15. Okay, that's 0. And now pick a number less than 15, let's say 14. And if put into this expression, work that out, you will get a positive result. Pick a number bigger than 15, let's say 16. And when we put that right here, 15 minus 16 is negative 1 times positive, right? So altogether we get negative. All right, now we see the first derivative changes from positive to negative at x equals 15. So we know that there is a maximum. All right, now we have all the verifications and we want to answer this question by giving the dimension. That means we should find out what y is. And we know y equals 90 minus 4x. And x is 15, so it's 90 minus 4 times 15. 4 times 15 is 60, so y is 30. All right, so here is the answer. Remember, this is a box, so it has three dimensions. And the first one, I'll just put down 15. So we have 15, and that is in inches. So 15 inches by another 15 inches, because we have the x twice, right? Right here and right here. And lastly, the y, which is 30, so by 30 inches. And that will do it.